it's Troy Nickerson's turn in this arena on this map. Pat Fitzgerald is our referee. Ivy League versus Big Ten. The kind of impact Nickerson has had. He's the first athlete ever to be both the freshman and, and wrestler of the year. No one has ever done that before. Talked about Ivy League. There's two uh, finalists from the Ivy League, nine from the Big Ten, six from the Big 12, and three from the Pac-10. One way to identify these wrestlers all night long will give you a great tip. You see the number five next to Troy Nickerson's name and the number three next to Joe Dubuque's. The number five signifies his seating. So Joe Dubuque is the number three seat, and the green means he is wearing a green anklet. The red means you're wearing a red anklet. Now, both of these wrestlers are wearing red singlets, so it's an easy way to differentiate between the two. Dubuque. Very powerful, great hips, action, action, lots of go. experience, knows how to manage close matches. We'll see, what, what he didn't want to do was go from the open, Troy Nickerson. He wants to scramble. He likes to scramble. So we'll see what happens right here. Good position here for Joe Dubuque. He's trying to rotate around the head a little bit, try to get Troy Nickerson stacked up on his back. That's a defensive pin, and this is a good position for Dubuque here. He may get a takedown. Needs it. There it is. Strikes early, and you're right, Tim. Dubuque likes to operate from the outside. His one confident tie-up is a left underhook. Well, I'll tell you what, he's a strong rider, too, and this is a dangerous oh, position yeah. for Troy Nickerson because he can't let the riding time mount or he'll be in more red? trouble. Troy Nickerson has to come up, get his hips out, and get good hand control here, not let Joe Dubuque take Great. that demanding ride. For those of you new to the sport of wrestling, riding time will add a point at the end of the match if one of these wrestlers accrues a riding time of one minute or more. So that one point, in many cases, can determine a match. Well, this is how Troy Nickerson, though, got in the finals by reversing a guy that I thought was <laughs> unreversible. Nick uh, Simmons, the number one seed. But uh, Troy Nickerson reversed him in the third period and beat the number one seed. So he can get out, but he's got to get hand control. Jeff, we talked a little bit about how these guys handle this center stage. How about that? A great escape there for Nickerson. He's on the board with a point. How important is it to score those first points in a match? Well, it certainly builds confidence. You get on a roll, you find your rhythm right away, and you put the other man on the defensive, take him out of his immediate game plan. So I say it's big, but both these guys have been in big matches. Despite him being a true freshman, he's been in big matches. One year at the Junior Nationals, the biggest international tournament in this country, he won both the freestyle and Greco style by pinning and tech falling everyone. That is unbelievable. He is a talent, as is Joe Dubuque. Joe Dubuque's lost only once this year. He lost to Kyle Lott, uh, uh, who he beat in the national finals last year. This year in the Big Tens, but Ott didn't place this year. And here's Joe Dubuque back. One of Dubuque's tactics, and it's very effective, is he'll make contact, and then he backs away and attempts to get his opponent to step to him, and that's when he strikes. Action! Time running out here in the first period, and it ends with Dubuque leading 2-1. to one. Let's go down on the mat to Quinn Kestick. Joe Dubuque, he sticks to his pre-match rituals, warms up the same way for every match. He always drinks Pedialyte after weigh-ins. That is Gatorade for kids. Today he's facing a wonder kid, Nickerson. Cornell coach Rob Ready. Cole described him as a prodigy, attending camps at Cornell when he was a kindergartner, doing moves as well as 17 and 18 year olds. Good start. So one drinks baby food and the other one is sort of a baby, a Nickerson. In Nickerson, Rob Cole, uh, the former NCAA titleist himself, said he's kind of like a cult figure. He's got a huge following. He's just from down the road, 30 miles or so away. And he says they come out to watch Troy Nickerson wrestle in a huge way. It's up there attendance big time. That was an escape for Joe Dubuque. Now he leads 3-1. to one. That was a big point. Nickerson, when I talked about Cole, he said, Nickerson, he'd like to see him try to ride Joe Dubuque, but Dubuque answered that challenge, got out right away. He tried. Rob also said about Nickerson, he's not the best in terms of raw athletic ability, but he did say no one will ever outwork him. 
he works with his assistant coach, Steve Gardner, and so often uh, the, the one you work with the most in the room is in the corner. So Steve Gardner, assistant coach, along with Rob Colton in the corner, and the same, same thing over in the Indiana corner. Mike Mena, the assistant coach, Joe Dubuque says, he's everything to me. He's my choreographer. I do what he says, and I have not always been coachable. There's Rob Cole and Steve Gardner, but he says, I haven't always been coachable, but Mike Mena gave me an ultimatum. If you want to be good, you'll follow my orders. He said I became a national champ. Here comes this. Sounds singles. like good orders. And good for him to learn the lesson of listening to your elders, right? That's exactly right. Mike Mena was a four-time All-American at Iowa. And there's a little something different. The Buke shot from the outside. This time Mickerson ready for it. Got a front headlock, but went out of bounds. Again, we'll have 10 weight classes starting at 125, taking you all the way to the heavyweights. Each match consists of three periods, starting with a three-minute period, followed by two two-minute periods. And you're going to see in the second period, for the most part, one of the wrestlers will start on the mat, the other from the top position. That can change from time to time. A wrestler can elect to start in a neutral position. More likely than not, they won't. Oh, there's that athletic skill. Steve Gardner, the assistant, not happy with that. Joe Dubuque managing this match beautifully. He seems very relaxed. There's Mike Mena, the assistant coach at Indiana, and Joe Dubuque's eight personal seconds, mentor. Guys, eight. Set. Three. Still listening well, Dubuque. Well, that was a great move. Nickerson had a two-on-one, and Dubuque did a spin move. Tried a shot, and that scramble came up on top. So the second Choice period spread. comes to an end, but let's watch this quick Final. move by Dubuque. Yeah, here's that Russian spin. spin right here, and then he comes around, just keeps coming, jumps over, covers him. Two points, foot still in. See, right there. So now a 5-1 lead going into the third period. That seems like a lot, guys. Is 5-1 a huge advantage, especially for someone so experienced? With Joe Dubuque on top, yeah, I'd say that's a big lead. Those two takedowns, huge in this match. He's also building riding time now. It's up to 45 seconds. Get back! Get back! Get back! Stomach. Reds down. Hey! And Pat Fitzgerald is our referee. You'll hear him. Green, cover. All our refs will be Mike tonight. No. Green, give, green. We'll Don't give you a point. real insight. Set, green. This is a real learning experience for Troy Nickerson. I can tell you right now, Joe Dubuque's having fun right there. He's relaxed. Nickerson's, he, he's concerned. He knows that his back is against the wall. There you go. Dubuque can smell it. Now take his head off. Cross face, cross take his head off of the cross face. Cross face, cross face him hard. That is not the referee. <laughs> that's <laughs> Mike Mena in Dubuque's corner. And that's the kind of mentality you really have to have. You have to go after it. No one's going to roll over. you got to make him roll over. <laughs> Nickerson doing a good job of moving Take forward, ball, negating that turn. Let's that go, let's go. Leg lock on Nickerson's leg that may rotate him to his back. And see what Mike Mena says, you know, don't Green. just sit there. Take him over. Well, Green, you need to get off that the code. Side. He may not really mean that. He just wants the official to hear him say, take him over. Hey, let him up. Green. It's been a warning for stalling here. Stay back, stay back, watch your head. If Dubuque is again cited for stalling, that would be a point for Nickerson. You talked about riding time. He's got plenty of riding time. It is going to be an extra point for him no matter what happens. Got a warning, Red. Stalemate. You're still down. Legs were in before he came up. Dubuque, a little nod there, guys. He knows he's got this match well in hand. There's a wa warning for stalling against the Duke start. there, knocking up that leg lock and then not using it to try to turn him. Actually, it was against um, uh, Nickerson. Nickerson for standing up with the legs and not doing anything. <laughs> Nickerson is awarded a point. It's 5-2. Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Nickerson in trouble here. There it is, another takedown. The Duke. Just managing the standing position beautifully. That's his third takedown. 
Dubuque well on his way to his second straight national title. After getting beaten the Big Tens, I mean, you know, he wasn't undefeated. He doesn't, didn't win the Big Ten championship. He comes back, the pressure's on him. He didn't feel that way. He says, I've got my belt. And he wrestled loosely all tournament, and he is going to win his second national championship. First one from Indiana to do that since the 30s. Get in there, center, Since center. Charlie McDaniel way back center, in 1935 Joe. and 1938. Joe Dubuque, your champion at 125. Five former champions that will climb on to this mat here.